Hi folks, I uh, hope you're doing well. It is Tuesday the 24th of January. I have already filmed this video but looking back at it all I was doing was looking at books like that <laughs> and not looking at particularly talking at the camera or looking at the camera. So I'm going to redo it and do it quickly <laughs> if I can because I waffled for about half an hour. So this is the Amigurumi book tag that I believe was started by Chronically Crocheting but I was tagged in it by Caroline for the love of crochet hello thank you and uh, Shondell of Classy Handmade so, hello thank you for that uh, I've got uh, now I've got that new piece of furniture I waffled on at length about the other day um, my crochet books are sort of next to me so I can pull them out and show you them so let's get going the first one is the Lally Lala um, Beatles books and butterflies book. I have made the like the egg uh, in it or for it, and then just one of the caterpillar bodies, but I've not made any wings to go with it or anything. But it's a really cute book. It's got like um, a story. It has got a story in it, I promise. Um, like detailing the life cycle of butterflies uh, you know uh, from caterpillar to butterfly so half of it is a story and then half of it are the patterns and uh lydia lally lala is her patterns are always really good the wings themselves are done on like almost on a ribbing uh in a band and they go round the caterpillar body that you make so it's really clever um so I would recommend it. I've not made lots out of it, but um, no, I didn't make that. But look, they've got little like, I don't know what they call them, aphids, I think. Um, yeah, I think so, aphids. Yeah, and there's a snail and stuff like that. So very good. Um, I don't know how well cat uh, butterflies would sell. I don't know, but really nice if you, you know, if you wanted to make a particular one you can change your colours and, and stuff like that so it's really nice. Uh, next one, Crocheted Sea Creatures by Vanessa Moonsi, Moonchi, I don't know, um, where's her name, yeah. Now I bought this book because Juliet, she used to be Pink Butterfly, I can't remember what the channel name changed to, um, she made the octopus and I loved it and I wanted to make it and I started making it and got stuck and I've never gone back to it I, uh, <laughs> I didn't have a paddy as such <laughs> it's not like that but just never got back to it I couldn't get my head around it I think I was trying to do it while I was doing other things you know like I've got several things on the go and it just didn't work out and I need to go back to it oh bookmark's just falling out um, I love the shark on the front cover. I love sharks, so maybe this is one for me to visit throughout the year of my book to make finally make something from it. Um, but it's very good, uh, and there's lots of interesting patterns that you don't normally see. There's like a nautilus shell and anglerfish, and so whale, and a seahorse, and they've all got interesting sort of textures and stuff on them. So give it a go if you've made anything from it let me know how it how you got on if you've made the octopus tell me what I'm doing right <laughs> it was I can't remember if I was doing that in the previous house but it's got to be four or five years ago so maybe I could un, you know I'd understand it now I don't know this book I have to admit I've made nothing from it was one I got bought for me when I first started crocheting so years and years ago I think I worked out now, I've been crocheting 30, 12, 13 years, because Tobin's nearly 15 and then he was he was only little when I started. Um, but this is by Elizabeth A. Doherty. And I just don't think the patterns, they just don't seem, they don't speak to me. There's a pig that I don't massively like the look of. There's some food bits, but this, it's just nothing ever made me think, ooh, I'm going to make that. So. I can't tell you if the patterns are good or not, they just don't suit my aesthetic, I suppose. Um, like a skelly fish, like a fish bone. 
I always thought that was quite cool and just never found the oomph to make it. So. Uh, creepy Cute Crochet. Yes. By Christine, uh, Kristen, sorry, Hayden. Uh, AKA need, Needles Noodles. The Crafting Dynamo who lives in Virginia. So, I think I found a page with all of them on. It's really, like, the patterns are cute. There's, um, you know, Cthulhu and Bride of Frank, well, Bride and Groom skeletons. Really, really nice. Um, like a zombie stuff. But it was, this again was quite early on in my crocheting. And it's a slip stitch to join chain one patterns and it really put me off and I just didn't get on with them um, and like the eyes said you needed a certain kind of eyes and because I was quite new to it I was like well I haven't got those eyes what am I going to do whereas now I think I'd just do it in a spiral and stick some safety eyes in it or stick some felt on it so this may be one for me to revisit and see how I like the patterns I love the designs um, you know, who doesn't want like an Amazon woman and uh, a cute Grim Reaper. So maybe this is one I bump up my list to work on. Uh, this is another really old one. Crowbots by Nelly Pilau. P I P A I double L O U X. And I think I've made two from this. I made a geisha for Paul's aunt. Don't know why. Can't remember. This is got to be ten years ago. So it probably wasn't the best. And then I made one, I think as a present, but can I find it? They're interesting. They need lots of like embellish, well they've you know, got lots of embellishments to add to them, which I didn't do. I'm sure I've made one for like a stripy robot. Can't find it. But yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, like I say, I would have to use it more to tell you maybe I should try some out of it but I mean if you've used this book and found patterns you like let me know and I'll, I'll give them a go but I think I was like oh I need all these books and then I just got into Ravelry patterns and they got you know left aside um, I bought Amaguru Me which uh, it's by Alison Hoffman uh, I'll follow her on Facebook I think and I got it to do, I wanted to do a Barry Chuckle doll from the Chuckle Brothers. And I started making it, um, but I don't know. I think it's one of these things that I have to start it when I am not making stuff for a craft fair because the designing, you know, the, the picking of all the different elements, I, I just don't have time when I'm trying to prep for a craft fair and it just got put on side. His head is lurking somewhere. <laughs> That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Uh, especially since he's passed away. Barry Chuckle's head's in my house somewhere. Um, but the the patterns themselves, the, you know, the options it gives you are great. So don't be put off uh, because I haven't used it. It's it's a good book. It's just I, I'm too lazy or I'm always too busy and I don't make time to learn different techniques. I think the techniques that are in here are great. So. It's something I should invest my time in, but when you're making lots of, you know, little things as quickly as you can, it doesn't always work that way. Um, maybe these are things for me to focus on. It's a bit late in uh, January for New Year, New Me sort of thing. <laughs> that ship sailed. Um, this one, uh, it's just called Amigurumi. Uh, hold the cover details up. I'll try and link to all these books. Um, I've made one, I think out of this, I've made a robot out of this one, like Robo Robot, and there's a frog, uh, Cupcake Bear, Sydney Snail, Pandora Panda, there's a bunny, T-Rex, again, it's quite an old one. I've looked through it loads of times thinking I should make something, I just never do. Something about them don't speak to me, like I got rid of some and a Paula Rimoli books which I used a lot when I was first crocheting and it's something about the, the patterns just don't appeal to me anymore so I don't know 
So that they went to the charity shop. This one may well follow. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should do like Angie's self-destructing yarn if I haven't used the book by the end of the year. With me making an effort to go through the books, maybe they should go to charity. But, you know, just someone that's going to use them more. This is Whimsical Stitches by Lauren Espy. Um, I think this one I might pull out and use for craft fair stuff because it's perfect. It's got lots of little patterns in uh, fruit and food and um, like donuts and cups of you know hot chocolate and stuff like that. So this might be one that makes an appearance throughout the year. Um, you know, cupcakes and stuff, uh, jellyfish. So this is good. There's lots of patterns in here. I don't know if it says how many. 25. 25 simple fanciful patterns in a variety of themes. So there's like in the garden, at the aquarium, down the farm, at the market, the bakery. So lots of, you know, it covers lots of different themes, I suppose, depending on what time of year you're making, a, you know, stuff for. Um, this one, uh, Voodoo Maggie's Adorable Amigurumi. This for me has a standout pattern that I've made over and over and it's this giraffe you've probably seen me make it before um there's a bat that's cute but i don't think i've made it i've done a butterfly it was huge huge let me find the fluttering butterfly it was massive i made it for a party for toby and went to right really early on when i started crocheting because jack was a baby um that was actually two parties started. So there she is, Lucy the giraffe. And I've made so many. But that's that's the pattern I always go to, uh, more so than any of the others. That the others don't speak to me as much, or you know, I wanted to make this monkey once, and I started making the face, and it seemed massive. So because I was making aiming to make it for a present, it got like ripped out, and I made something smaller, something more manageable. We used to have quite a lot of parties for the kids, so it was always like, oh no, he's had another invite, I've got to make another present. And that's died down now because the kids are older, um, which is why I tend to make stuff for craft fairs instead, because the house is already full of toys. Yeah. Jack's bed, and you know, if I let him, he wouldn't be able to move for toys and teddies and stuff. He's still quite bad, even under his bed, it's, uh, Porky's trying to get rid of stuff, and I won't let him throw any of my crochet stuff away, because that's just rude and Jack doesn't want to part with it and then he doesn't want to get rid of um, toys he's bought and stuff so it kind of goes in the loft and and then when Jack goes up in the loft it all comes back down because he goes, oh I missed it. Uh, next one is Pocket Amigurumi by Sabrina Summers. I've made quite a lot out of this one. I've made this dragon, I've made this for a teacher's present. I don't think I've made this have I made the turtle? I may have well made the turtle. I've made this for I think one of Jack's friends. Um, made that dude, the bat, and I started making this. I don't think I made the hood for it, but I've done. I've the pictures of the others. Let me find it. I've made the yeah, I've made that bat. I've made that like snail thing. Uh, yes, yeah, made nymphia. Uh, I think I might have to make this for a friend at work. He's asked for like an Eevee looking Pokemon, so I think that might be quite close to it. Wait, this is a teacher's... No, this was a birthday present from Jack's friends. The shell thing was a teacher's present. The dragon, I don't know what I made it for. Maybe I sold it. The acorn things I made for twins. Jack went to the birthday party. Um, yeah, that's it, but they're good patterns. I, I, I like these. Um, so I would recommend this book. There's plenty you can make from it, and they're not difficult, and they come out really cute. They're well, they're well designed, they're well, patterns are well written. So I recommend. And I think I'm going to try and whiz through these because my camera battery is trying to die. Um, this is the Magic Kingdom. Uh, Aradia Toys. I'll link everything. But this has got lots that are on my list that I want to make through the year of books. Um, there's, there's loads of patterns. I think it's 36, which is, you know, 
a lot for a book that it says GBP retail price was thirteen ninety five. I probably paid about twelve quid on Amazon. Um, but there's like knights and dragons and kings and wizards, wizards. So yeah, and that unicorn is very cute. So that there's lots of them on the list that uh, Toby and I went through to say we'd like to make this and this and this. I'm a Garumi monsters. I've made quite a few out of this as well. These were all by different designers. Um, so I made the Dizzy Durky a long time ago, but it sold at my Christmas right there last year, I think. I was amazed. I made this toothy dude. He's very cute. Um, Toby kind of wants me to make this one that looks like Boo from Monsters, Inc. Um, they are bigger projects, which is why I don't necessarily tend to go to them. They're more like presents than craft fair stuff, because they take longer, the bigger. Um, yeah, the more intricate, like, where is that picture? Let me find, I want to show you the pattern, but look, they've got all different coloured spikes down on their back and fun for, you know, eyelash yarn trim. So they are very good. You just um, need to have the time to, to make them. So I've made, this is, sorry, I'm a Garibu Monsters 2. So just from the back already, I've made him, her, the donut monster, I've made the bow tie dude. I quite want to make him, he looks cool. Um, I don't know if there's pictures of them all. I'm very aware that my camera battery might die. But um, they're interesting. Tobin had picked like this one to make with all those different bits that need sewing on the bottom. Oh, and then that one. With all them bits to sew on. So I've vetoed his suggestion because no, no. But again, a really good book. One of my books is missing from the same um, press, the same books, Meteor books, is the uh, Unicorns, Dragons and other and more fantasy amigurumi. So there's, I've made this goblin and this unicorn and this phoenix and Koji, the dragon, which is on the front cover. I have a feeling I've made one of these, that either like the dino corn or one of them, but really cute, good book, um, get it, it's, it's good if you're going to buy one of these sort of books, it's a good one, I think there's now like a second one of them as well, and then the Amigurumi Treasures, uh, same Meteor Press, but this is Arena Lee, uh, so they're all by the same person. Um, 15 projects. I've made the dodo and I just made Rex, the dinosaur, out of it. So uh, I like the patterns, they're very well written. They've got cute accessories, whether you choose to use them or not. You know, I left the scarf out and the glasses because I didn't want to, um, to secure the glasses and then have it go to a younger kid and have to take them off or anything like that. So really cute, lots of nice. Again, like birthday present sort of items, like that sheep's adorable, but that's a lot of stitching. I like it. And my Zoom Agarumi 4 has gone missing because I obviously had it out to show you that I've picked a pattern out of it for my February video. But here's Zoom Agarumi 9. I've made this uh, horse, Oatly, his name was. Uh, Tobes has got this toucan on his list that he wants me to make. I've got the gecko, I quite want to make him, he's very cute. Um, the Zoomagaroon books, I don't think you can go wrong. I went on their website the other day um, to link it to Zoomagaroon before because I've chosen to make a pattern from it. Um, and they've got the PDFs of most of these books. Uh, I think the different books you can get. There's more of these now. There's like a circus and stuff like that. And a lot of the PDFs are on sale at the moment, six ninety five. that's GBP. Um, I don't know what it would be in various other currencies, but by all means, go check it out. I mean, look at the little pig, so cute. That penguin looks angry. Maybe I should make an angry penguin for Jack's friend. Um, a little pug in a sailor suit, I mean, how cute. But yeah, I don't think you can go far wrong with the Zoom is The four, the other book I've got, which is somewhere, um, it's, I've made the frog from it, Kirk the Frog. 
Pinky's on, no, Stanley the giraffe is on the front cover. He's got a little tie. He's really cute, I've made him. Made the uh, Kirk the frog, he's massive. So again, it's an investment in time and materials. These are not small patterns. I made this for my hairdresser's daughter because she's mad into horses. A um, lot of hair for that mane, but it was really cute. Um, so yeah, I think that's it, bar the Zuma Groomy 4, which is missing, but I'll link to it anyway. I'll link to the whole Zuma Groomy uh, website for you to have a, a look through. Um, and they've usually got pretty good pictures of what is inside each box so you can decide, you know, if it appeals to you or not. Um, and like I say, I've already picked, I'm going to be making Jacques the Pigeon from Zuma Groomy 4 for my February make. Um, like I say, I'll do... I'll, look through the books again when it comes to picking March and maybe bear in mind that I've not used some of these books and maybe pull a creepy cute um, pattern to do and then I can sort of give more of a, a assessment on the book as I've not really used it um, but I'm, I'm not particularly going to tag anyone who uh, you know I won't single anyone out or anything but if you want to join in by all means show us your Amigurumi books and what you've you know if you've made anything from them <coughs> excuse me i boiled the kettle i need to go make a cup of tea um i've got to log back on and do some work now as well so i'm going to love you and leave you but yeah it, tell me what books you've got if you've got any of the same have you made different patterns from them is there a book out that you like the look of uh shonda was showing in the video i watched last night the hatching animals book she's got and some of those are really cute. The triceratops she's made is adorable. And she made a monkey. Really, really nice. And I'm like, oh, I should buy that book. And then I'm like, look at the pile of books you're not using. So I nearly got enabled. Nearly. It will happen, I'm sure. Uh, since I last spoke to you, I placed an order for some yarn from the wool factory. Just some variegated stuff. So I've got, you know, can make octos in different colours. Flavours, I was going to say. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'll be back when my yarn arrives and show you that. There's not not a lot, and a couple of balls of black DK because for some reason I don't have any. More, I don't know where it's all gone. I'm sure there's like a, it's hiding somewhere. You should always have black and white DK yarn because you need it for everything: eyes, highlights. You know, um, it's gone. I don't know where it is. So I have to put some. It's only you know, a couple of quid. Um, so I'll show you that on some stitch markers because they've all gone missing. I think they're all in that four. Uh, they hooked on sunshine blanket I'm making. But that's on pause because I don't even know where I am in it anymore. That'll be fun to figure out. But yes, so I will show you that when it arrives. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to do some work. I'm going out for a meal tonight with the work, the new work team. That's our Christmas meal that got delayed. So yum. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah. So I hope you're staying safe and well and let me know what you're making and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys.